I'd like to first thank everybody for coming out and just having this great opportunity of uh, speaking about what we have going on. Um, if you all would do me a favor, I'd like for all y'all to think of a dream that you once had, a dream that you knew, that you wanted to aspire to achieve, one that you had to put the hard work, effort, dedication, and your time into that dream to achieve it. I want you to remember that dream, keep it here with you until later on when I ask for you to release said dream. Now, as far as Eastern Kentucky, we have Eastern Kentucky has long faced uh, significant challenges that deals with job loss and economic decline. And fun fact, or not fun fact, but just uh, interesting fact, over $1 billion has been lost in total income uh, uh, from employed, uh, by those that were formerly employed by industries such as coal mining, manufacturing, accommodation and food services, healthcare, social assistance, uh, construction, and retail. Now, Kentucky has five of the top 50 poorest counties uh, in, the, in all of America, and all of them are located in the Appalachian region of Eastern Kentucky. The solution is Dad Distilling Company, who are a black-owned uh, future uh, distillery of uh, premium bourbon, as well as a future tourist attraction destination that will be located in Manchester, Kentucky. Our goals is to create over 100 plus career opportunities as well as providing, uh, providing things that will build up uh, personal and um, professional development. Our first product that we will have will be a signature birthday bourbon. It will be comprised of 70% corn, 25% uh, rye, and 5% malted, malted barley. It would be a four-year-old, 95 proof, as well as 47.5 alcohol by volume. It would have flavor notes of caramel and vanilla, as well as deeper notes of oak, spice, fruits, and honey. Amber and golden inner hue, as well as a smooth and rich finish. Our prospective customers' uh, data was comprised through our website, as well as uh, for our social media uh, inquiries, visits, and just our following that we have on social media. And what we comprise is that majority of our prospective customers are age range 35 through 44. 50.7% of those prospective customers are women. 49.3 of those prospective customers are men. And we have the top four of where a lot of those customers come from, the United States, China, Nigeria, and Portugal. Then through our market analysis of SWAT strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats, we were able to identify our, uh, just the key components of uh, key competitors of, of who we would have. And that would be based on overall productions, ratings and reviews, location, and other factors of why we felt that they would be our biggest competitors. And the, uh, the list that we have is top major producers of Kentucky bourbon. Some were Barstown Bourbon Company, Beam Suntory, Brown Foreman, also Wolfer Reserve, Castle and Key, Heaven Hill, Sazerac, Four Roses, and Willett Distilling Company. There is a future distillery that would be in Manchester, and they are Blackstone Distillery. And then we have the other two African-American-owned distilleries, Burrow Brothers, which are located in Louisville, as well as Fresh Bourbon, which was, is just located in Lexington. Now, we're more than just bourbon, which is why I feel that we're truly unique. We have a focus on, on pulling tourists to the area for retainment, as well as building the communities. So with that, we have a, have a passion and a love for uh, the livelihoods of Kentuckians. We want to pour into helping families, supporting local businesses and communities, donating to the schools, enhancing uh, police, fire, and EMS, sheriff, hospitals, and nursing homes, improving water and water management infrastructure such as roads, railways, sewers, power and cable lines, boosting ecosystem biodiversity, supporting wildlife conservation, uh, initiating rural development, and as well as just being active with the community uh, and being dads. And as far as our, our tourist components, uh, we will have a few different things that I feel makes us unique. Arboretum and Botanical Gardens, Freshwater Aquarium, 
uh, Bourbon Museum, and we will have lodging, which is, is a um, strategic to keep uh, tourism in, in the actual city of Manchester. Our current business model, and I would like to put the emphasis on the current business model as we will be using this business model to scale what we have right now. Uh, we will uh, be using Borough Global as our partner, and through that, we have a large portfolio of who would be uh, receiving our bourbons from, such as Buffalo Trace, Wild Turkey, Heaven Hill, Brown Foreman. And as you've seen on the previous slideshow that we had some of those as competitors, but the best thing about that is that we'll actually have the opportunity to go in, uh, look at some of their mash bills, select through their portfolios, and, and pick the most premium ones of, of which we feel would best serve our, our customers. 10% uh, of our finances will go towards labeling, bottling, packaging, and shipping fees, and those will all be covered in, in one price under Borough Global. We will receive, uh, we will purchase boroughs, 5,000, between 5,000 and 6,000, four-year-olds and six-year-olds, and we will have a, a, a profit of 15,000 per borough, roughly 200 bottles of what we'll get per borough of one liter. Uh, that's what we'll start off with, and then we'll have a, a retail price of $100 per bottle. Our short term is, is to just show proof of concept. So we want to use this model to scale. We have a minimal goal of reaching $1 million, which is 10,000 bottles sold. And once reaching that, that minimal goal of $1 million, then we will have uh, reached the requirements to have the state jump in and support what we have going on. Our midterm would be to just utilize Borough Global for the five-year process, and it's, and it's to build up our revenue. Uh, and then a long-term a long-term goal would be to produce manufacturing and ship and sale from our actual distilling site. Our bourbon team has uh, is comprised of 26 has a collective of. Uh, uh, has year, 26 collective years of bourbon experience. That ranges from operations, crafting, wholesale, financing, and marketing. I myself had the opportunity to learn from Chris Morris uh, from Woofer Reserve in 2014 to 2016, which is actually where my interest in bourbon peaked and the passion really kicked in. So I was very, um, I'm very fortunate to have um, had that learning experience from a master distiller like Chris Morris himself at Woofer Reserve. Why do we need the prize money? Well, we need the prize money to acquire assets, which is boroughs. Um, again, our, our boroughs that we'll be acquiring is between $5,000 and $6,000. We have land that we're currently leasing in Manchester, Clay County, and um, it, it will just show that we're on the, on the right process, trying to scale, uh, getting everything that we need for our next process. And that dream that I told you all to, to take hold, well, I want you all to release that dream. This is who we are, D-A-A-D, we are two dads. The business ultimately started from a succession of dreams and uh, what we do is we're aspiring to achieve uh, through the dedication that we have of crafting premium bourbon as well as, as helping uh, improve on the livelihoods of Kentucky, Kentuckians. Our mission first started as being uh, non-traditional educators, and we seen that through the through the work that we were doing with low-performing schools, that we just wasn't able to tackle all the problems that we had with the minimal resources that that we were um, that we were given. So we wanted to utilize one of Kentucky's uh, primary industry, a a nine billion dollar industry with bourbon, and, and funnel a lot of their revenue to the communities of where we felt fit is needed and that is Eastern Kentucky and the 54 counties within the Appalachian footprint. Okay. We're going to do questions now. Okay. Thank you for the presentation. Great Thank job. You. Uh, question, what, what would you think is your five-year capital needs for growth and development? Our five-year capital needs is we, uh, as far as through the projections that we have, our five-year capital needs would be roughly around five hundred thousand. Our lower, our lower overhead is low. Uh, only thing that we're uh, using expenses on is for the actual uh, 
acquisition of the boroughs as well as just for bottling and labeling purposes. So uh, doesn't doesn't take a lot for our capital needs. We already have a property that we'll be leasing on. Uh, we're currently in the process of waiting for our, our finalizations for our license to go through, and then we'll be able to start with the bottling process of, of our boroughs. I might get booed for this question, but I'm not a bourbon <laughs> drinker, so I don't know much about it. But what will make your distillery stand out from all the other ones that are in Kentucky? We have the bourbon trail. You hear about this all the time. But what's going to make you all stand what, out, in your what, opinion? Um, I feel that what makes us stand out is our, is our approach to the community. Uh, just because we'll be funneling a lot of our revenue as long as it doesn't offset from our operational expenses and the growth of of dad distilling we'll be jumping into a lot of community efforts trying to improve on the livelihoods of eastern kentucky uh, so that goes from anywhere from schools uh, fire department uh, just all infrastructure roadways uh, walkways um, and, and having a focus on wildlife um, just so uh, kids and children will be able to still learn about the native uh, flora and fauna within the state. Nice job pre presenting. Um, you make a very broad claim in the beginning in terms of the problem that you're solving, which is that you're going to improve the economic health of the Appalachian region Correct. through a distillery. Um, can you talk about how you'll measure whether your distillery actually can live up to that claim and make that type of an improvement across a very large region? Correct. Um, um, the, the measurement will be through the job opportunities that we're trying to uh, provide. We'll st start off in Clay County. We'll have our, our, that would be our first home. And then we'll eventually branch out somewhere within the 54 uh, county footprint. And from there, uh, it'll just be through uh, uh, just monitoring the money that goes into and some of the constructions and, and improvements that we'll be doing along the course of the years. 